Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I got a couple requests to do some more testing on this Texan S-8800, and specifically the single sideband performance. So we're going to try that this morning. It's uh, 5.45 a.m. here in Clearwater, Florida. And I'm on the 80 meter amateur radio band, which is usually fairly active this time of the morning, more so on Saturday. But I wanted to go ahead and try. So we're going to see what, if we can tune in some amateur radio operators on single side band and anything else we can find. So here we go. We turn the volume up. There's somebody there. Um, I'm in AM mode. I'm not in single sideband yet. And that's got your old buzzard uh, 60 man service and I just got two of them. Now, the other thing you will find, on, especially on the 80 meter band, you will find people that are using AM. They're not using single sideband, and that sounds like this is the case right now. I'm at 3.880. Bed. Between the noise level, th the noise threshold, which is almost full scale, and in this transmission here, we're at full scale. Now, <clears throat> I'm using the external antenna connector, and I'm connected to my 31-foot MFJ vertical antenna. All right, let's see if we can find somebody broadcasting in single sideband. There we go. So that's what single side band sounds on a radio that only has AM. Doesn't have single side band. So now we're going to turn on single side band. Probably uh, at 80 meters, typically they operate on the lower side band. So let's go to lower side band. Okay, it has to sync. It's on lower sideband. Now I have to retune it. So I can find him again. There they are. Still a little bit off. So we use the fine tuning. There we go. Now, these particular individuals have kind of a Donald Duck voice. So that's not the radio, it's their voice. You can change the bandwidth. That's he's very a, good. He's a contortionist. Had to be to get through that, sir. How you doing this morning, buddy? I'll tell you nobody, buddy. So now that I'm in single sideband, you can see I got two more digits. So I've got 3919.15 kilohertz. Pretty nice. Yeah. 
As, as I said, I'm familiar with this person, and he's got kind of a Donald Duck voice. So that's not the radio distorting. That's just his voice. First year I was on the radio, I called Mortal Hell on me. I like you that way. Well, I got that you, but I apologize for you that way. Well, I quit. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a hard time about it. No, it should take months. And I said, oh, hell, I don't need to do that. Okay, so I, turn, I tuned it a little more, and it got rid of some of the Donald Duck voice. But that sounds like his natural voice. They, they are not too far away. I think they're in um, northern Florida, like Jacksonville, thereabouts. And, and they're on as much as the preacher man is. Let's see what else we can find. There's another one. And, and go by and, and pat it every once in a while and give it a big hug. <laughs> oh, do you get I'm going to change the microphone here so you can talk. In one VFU, in four ZED. In four ZED. And the group in one VFU. We'll change the tone. Well, 922, she's a pair of 3500s for finals. Keep it warm in here in the winter. And uh, that, that's a good, that's a good deal, you know. I can bring that 922 down there. So this is at 3.947. And it, it's coming at perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not distorted. Those voices, which I've heard before on other radios, that's their natural voice. Let's see, one of them's underneath my bench. And that's got a scare. Uh, monitor scope on top of it with all my QSL cards. So as I mentioned before, when you go to single sideband, you get those other two digits for fine, fine tuning, super fine tuning. So this, this radio is doing a super job on single sideband. So I hope that answers the questions. Um, I'm going to give it a final score now, this radio. Uh, the only thing that was left to score was reception. Uh, the one drawback on reception was I was getting the bleed over from medium wave to short wave and medium wave to medium wave. And the one thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try a medium wave filter, which is right here. I haven't found the proper to all my adapters yet, but here it is right here. And this has worked really well when I tested it on a software-defined radio. So we're going to see if we can find enough adapters here to adapt it to this radio. And then see if that clears up, at least clears up the problem that we're having on the lower part of the shortwave band, uh, 4 megahertz and lower, with the strong, I mean super strong, medium wave stations bleeding over. So that'll be another show. So right now, um, I would give, because of that one problem, I would give reception a B, I would say a B minus, but I'll give it a B. And that gives this radio an overall grade of a B, a solid B. Because the only thing I found out that was a big negative for me is um, that bleed over. Now, if you live in a rural area where you don't have strong medium wave stations near you, you probably won't even notice that problem. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for the questions. Um, and see, this is what I'd like to do is I like to get these questions and see if I can answer them right away. Sometimes I can't, but I will if I can. And hopefully that's enough um, 
information about single sideband apparate, uh, operation on this radio, the Texan new the new Texan S8800, it seems to work perfect on single sideband, at least for the little bit of testing that I did. If you enjoyed this show, give me a thumbs up, and have a great day. Bye-bye.